What is up guys, Team BTC here. This is Braden. Today I'm going to bring you an awesome tutorial on how to get almost all Windows Steam games on a Mac. Now this isn't pirated or anything. This is legit. You're paying for it, but you get to play it on your Mac. So I'm giving credit to paulthetall.com here. He is the one where, I'm not sure if he's the first one, but he is the only one that I saw that he had a tutorial on how to do this. And um, all this uh, Steam build stuff, it was linked from his website below. So before you actually get into this, you are going to have to download Wine Bottler. And if you were looking to get a Windows program without Wine Bottler, it just doesn't happen. So I will have this link in the description. Just go ahead and download. I download the stable build right here. You need uh, Wine Bottler open uh, for the rest of this tutorial. So once you install that and you have it open, uh, go to this link in the description right here, filefactory.com and a bunch of random stuff. For the steam build 1.zip. Now there are other steam builds but I've heard that they're really buggy and this one has worked perfectly for me so far. So basically what this is guys is it's the Windows version of Steam running on your Mac. So Wine kind of tricks the program into thinking this is a Windows. So it's a Windows program but you're running it on the Mac. So that's why you need Wine to install this. So uh, you gotta go down here and if you click fast download right here, it makes you, uh, it wants you to get premium so you can't really do fast download. So you have to do the slow download unfortunately, it is about an hour to download. But I don't know if that fast download is legit or anything, it's 8 bucks a month to do it so I wouldn't do that. So go ahead and click slow download and um, you have to wait 30 seconds before it actually starts. And this is downloading the Windows version of Steam on your Mac. Now while this is going on guys, I just would like to thank you for watching this video and if this does end up helping you to click that subscribe button because we are a small channel trying to grow and I thought this would be a great tutorial for you people who, I mean, I didn't know that this was possible, so it's pretty amazing. So once you uh, do that, you wait the 30 seconds, you gotta click here to begin download. And in your download bar right here, you can see it starts and it's a zip file. So since I already have it downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and clear that. So you're done with Safari and all that for now. Um, so just to prove that this works, guys, I'm going to go down here to my dock. And you can see right here, I don't know why it's open right now, but I have the Steam for Mac right here and the Steam for Windows right here. Now, all the Steam games that you've already installed on your Mac are uh, not going to be on this build. You kind of have to switch back and forth depending on which game you're about to play. So say you downloaded, I don't know, Team Fortress 2 on your uh, Mac version of Steam. You can't launch the Windows version and play that without having to download it again, which would just double up the space that it takes on your computer. So keep that in mind when you're downloading games, but I'm gonna go ahead and launch it right now. Sometimes it takes a little while to open and uh, it originally is called this Steam 5754 or blah 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 wine. I just changed it to Steam Windows. Uh, open in my second monitor here. Let me drag that over. So right here you can see Daisy. It, this is a Windows only game and I have it on my Mac right here as well as Planet Side 2. Those are both Windows only games. Now just to prove that this works guys, I'm going to go ahead and launch Daisy. Now sometimes this does take a little bit to open. And when I do get to the main menu, guys, it might look a little messed up. It's because I changed some settings, and uh, it just makes my game faster uh, when I have my menu like this, so don't freak out. It's not going to look like that when you install it. But you will most likely have to turn your graphics down a lot when you do buy the game. Because you do have to buy the game. It's not free for all the games. You're actually downloading it from Steam, but it just works on your Mac. So I do not promote pirating or any of that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to a server here. And just to prove that this works, guys, uh, I'll just fast forward this until it actually gets me in the game. All right, guys, I'm just waiting for the host now. I should spawn in any second. Yes, I'm spawning in now, loading up the textures. I think there's one texture that it, didn't, it can't load on a Mac. But yeah, if the game that you're trying to download, if its engine isn't supported on the Mac, there's no... There's no way to download it without changing your um, game processing card in your computer. So as you guys can see, I'm in Daisy right now. Boom, tab, it's everything. Uh, opening the door. And just to prove that this is on a, on a Mac, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take my face cam, my beautiful face. 
point at the computer you can see right here it's a Mac and uh, hopefully that's not copyright issue I'm going to go ahead and blur the Apple logo there but and this is not a scam look here's my microphone yeah it makes the noise all right let me go ahead and crop you back up here so if this video helped you guys whatsoever make sure to leave a like rating and definitely subscribe and go subscribe to Paul the Tall, for he is the one that originally posted the Steam wrapper on File Factory, I believe. And uh, enjoy playing your Windows game on Steam. I hope this helped you. If it didn't, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do to help you. See you guys in the next video.